I'm gonna give you the four keys to focus on with the glide reverse, and we're gonna start right now. What's up everybody, it's Dave Miller from throwsuniversity.com, and if this is your first time to the channel and you're interested in becoming a better thrower, you wanna improve your glide technique, you wanna improve your spin, you wanna become a better discus thrower, make sure that you like, you subscribe, and you ring that notification bell so we can help you become a champion. So oftentimes in the glide, when we see people take throws, we'll see gliders do pirouettes on their finish. We'll see them take reverses as though they're spinning. We see them fall back or fall out of the circle, whatever it is that they're doing on the finish. And a lot of that goes back to one, not having a very good understanding of how they need to reverse, but two, they're not doing a good job of setting up the throw in general. So we've got to focus on right off the bat. When we're talking about the glide, we've got to have our throwers get to the front of the circle as quickly as possible in as linear a fashion as possible. So they've got to come off of that right heel out of the back. This is if we're talking about right-handed throwers. They're going to keep that left foot below their left knee. They're gonna drive rapidly to the middle and when that right foot grounds, the right ankle should be plantar flex. That right knee should hold flexion. And now we're getting into that finish. So we've gotta focus on four key body parts when we're gonna be talking about that glide reverse so that we can optimize our linear energy that's transferring forward. So that first key body part that we're gonna focus on is gonna be our left arm and our right shoulder. If we can think about at the front of the circle, that left arm should open out into the sector. We should feel a nice stretch across our chest and then our right shoulder will transfer forward. When that left arm opens, we get that big stretch. Now that right shoulder starts to go forward and we want to stay grounded as long as possible, but let our energy get out into the sector for that big finish. And that's going to contribute to a proper reverse. And that's gonna take us into that second key aspect is what are we gonna be focusing on next? We wanna be focusing on our legs. So when we are at the front, we wanna have that right knee bent, okay? We wanna have that left leg semi-bent, semi-stiff, not completely locked out, but not really bent too much. We want that right ankle to be flexed. And if we think about the one of the best gliders of all time, Michael Carter, his right knee would drop hard. And if we can think right knee drops, then we are gonna go forward. Our legs, our right knee will stay flexed because of what our left arm's doing. Now our energy will transfer forward and we're able to get out into the sector to start that reverse. And what goes on next is that third key aspect. And I believe this is the most important part is what happens to the heel for a right-handed thrower we could draw a straight line from our right foot forward into the toe board. So as that left arm opens, as our right knee drops, as our legs hold the ground, we get to the point where we hit with that right heel, okay? The right heel hits and holds. The right heel hits and holds. There cannot be a pirouette, a spin, anything along those lines when we're talking about the reverse for the glide. You go forward from a linear perspective, you hit with that right heel and you hold. And now this takes us back to our legs. What are we gonna do? We wanna hit, boom. We want the left leg. The left leg can either hold towards the back here or the left leg can come around slightly, almost in line with the toe board. But as long as we are pushing, use your glute need Use your glute max to push the right heel into the toe board to help hold that big finish. And that takes us to our fourth body part, our eyes. What happens with our eyes? We get asked this question all the time. Should we throw and stare at the finish? Or that left arm opens, that right shoulder goes forward. We drop that right knee, we get to the heel, we hit the heel and our eyes come to the back of the circle. After that shoulder goes forward, our eyes rotate with our upper body and we wanna see the back of the circle while we're holding the finish with our heel. If you are a glider, you should not reverse like a spinner. If you fix that, you have a linear finish and you go out 
into the sector, that's when you're gonna hit a two to three foot PR if you stop reversing like a glider. So if you want more information about the glide and about throwing, you can head over to throwsuniversity.com and you can pick up our 30 days to a better glide program. It's a training program and course that walks you through 30 straight days of lifting and technical work to help you improve your glide. If you want more videos about training the glide, you can click on this card right here. Until next time, guys, peace.